In this episode, I want to introduce you to Rocket Typist. Rocket Typist is an app that will expand text for you. This feature does exist in Mac OS, but the Mac OS version is very limited. You can only expand text and you can't insert line breaks or any kind of formatting. So it's very limited. But with the app like Rocket Typist, you're able to expand all kinds of text. And this solves the challenge of repetitive typing. So if you work in customer service or most of us deal with a lot of email and we tend to email the same response over and over again, and that's just time consuming. So once we figure out how much time we're wasting doing that, we start to create like an email template and send that template every time we get that same request. Well, instead of having a template, we can use Rocket Typist to make that even faster. Rocket Typist also solves the problem of errors in typing. We've all been texting and that autocorrect takes over and the wrong word pops in there and you send off that text message and you didn't mean what was just sent, right? Well, sometimes as we're typing, we're gonna type the wrong things and send that off in an email or some other communication and it's going to be the wrong message or you're going to send the wrong email address or misspell something or misspell someone's name rocket typist is able to help all those errors in typing so those are a couple of use cases for rocket typist but we're going to go through a few others and show you how to set things up so that you can be really efficient and really productive with this app let's jump in when we first start Rocket Typist, we're going to have to go through a few setup screens. So let's click Next. And this is just giving you a little overview of how Rocket Typist works. You type in a little snippet and it can expand your text. We're going to enable auto paste so that as soon as we type in the snippet, it can automatically be inserted into our document. I'm going to also enable abbreviations and that's going to require system preferences. So let's open that. And here in system preferences, I need to click on the lock icon, type in my password, and then put a check mark next to Rocket Typist. Okay, now I'll close this and come back here. For some reason this got unchecked, so I'm going to check that again. And the trigger I'm going to use here is the space bar. Click Next. Next I want to enable iCloud Sync. Just in case I install this app on more than one computer, all of my snippets will sync between computers. Okay, and I'm going to click Finish. Okay, so here is the Rocket Typist window. And this is where we're going to create all of our snippets and our expansions. So let me go ahead and create a few of these and I'll be right back to show you what they do. Here in Rocket Typist, I've created some snippets, but I want to show you that it's really easy to add your own. So I'm going to click here on the new button, type in some text, come down here, give it a name, and add an abbreviation. That's it. When you're getting started with this app, it can be a little overwhelming as to what kind of text you should put in here. So let me give you a few examples. First, corrections. Every now and then my fingers type my name a little bit too fast and the characters get out of order. So by putting my correct spelling in the text box and the misspelling as the abbreviation, I'll always be able to spell my misspellings correctly. You probably have a couple of common misspellings that you always make. Those would be great snippets to add here. Here's another example, your address. It may seem mundane, but typing all those characters and numbers can get a little tedious, so just make it a snippet. Same thing with your cell phone. Now we're starting to add some special characters, and that brings another level of complexity. Here's an interesting one, date. You can see how this date has a box around it. That's because it's not just words and numbers that I've typed in here. This is actually what Rocket Typist calls a macro. And up here you can see we have different macros like the date and time and some other special fields. We'll get to those in a minute. But this macro will always print the correct date. So in three days from now, this will say June 12th. It's really handy when you're creating your snippets. I always put in my email because I like to capitalize certain letters and I like to format my email in a certain way. I always type the email, not longhand, but with a snippet. Number six, here's another fun one, emoji. Again, you can see that I have a blue box around it because it's a macro. This macro happens to be a drop-down list. So when I click on it, I get a few options that I can choose from. I'll show you how that works in a minute. A couple more ideas that you could use when creating snippets. You could create an email filling in someone's name as a macro. You might want to use this for your common meeting templates, email signatures, directions to your house, meeting notes, or common things that you type over and over again that you want to use as a template. So basically anything that you want as a template can be a snippet. 
in here. All right, let's take a look at how this works. So I'm going to move the Rocket Typist window to the right, and I'm going to open the Notes app on the left side of the screen so you can see them side by side. To use Rocket Typist, all I have to do is type an abbreviation, and I've chosen to use the space button as the character that actually expands the text. So if I type R add and put a space, my address will pop in there. And if I type R date, the date pops in. And again, this is the current day, so whatever the date is today, that's what's going to appear. I'm using the email template here, and as soon as I expand the abbreviation, it asks me for the name. So I'm going to just put in John Doe and click Done. The template has filled in the name that I put in there, the date here, and the rest of the text. So this is a great way to personalize your snippets. So when you're emailing somebody back, they never have to know that this took you two seconds to write and it seems like a personalized email just for them. Well, by now I hope you can see the power in this app and how this just speeds up a lot of the things that you can do. Anytime you're typing repetitive things or the same things over and over again, anytime you need a template is a great time to use Rocket Typist and a snippet. Let me show you one more tip. I'm going to close this window here. Rocket Typist can be accessed by clicking on the rocket and you can search for a snippet here, but you can also come to preferences and you can set a keyboard shortcut. So I've set my shortcut as Control Option Command R. So when I push that, the search box appears right where I'm at and I can type find a snippet and just hit return and it'll fill in that. So that's two ways to get your snippets into your document. Just type an abbreviation or use the keyboard shortcut and search for what you're looking for and pop it in right there. If you're a productivity junkie like I am, the wheels in your head are just starting to turn and you're thinking about all the different snippets you can make. Go ahead and pop into Rocket Typist and start making some right now.